Greetings Virgo, welcome to your horoscope. So, lucky you, this Sunday we will have Mercury go direct, Sunday afternoon, that's going to feel good, and uh, around, I think it's 103 Pacific Daylight Time, we have, uh, we still have a stellium of Pisces planets, you know, this this weekend in your seventh house, so, I mean, you got to be last of the great, of the great hot lovers right now. And Virgos definitely can be totally hot lovers and really strikingly beautiful. And so it really goes against the whole prudish mentality. I think there is an element of discriminating that Virgo's known for. Whereas, you know, Leo's got, is kind of seen as less discriminating, I'd say. So, but we're moving into the eighth house. So, and with Mars and Uranus in the eighth, it's like, it's lusty time for Virgo. And, and Virgo is the one sign that likes to really get naked. It likes to get naked outside. It likes natural stuff, real things. We got Moon and Taurus, you know, I mean, just even that this weekend, it's like, mm, that's a sensual moon. That could be an exotic pleasure. You know, we, we might just add, um, you know, some chocolate cake to the mix. I mean, that's... So Taurus and uh, have a have a wonderful sensual time, or maybe you know, or maybe in the words of uh, Bill Cosby, maybe we'll have pudding. <laughs> oh boy, um, you know, Jupiter is up in your midheaven. This is a year of career expansion for Virgo, and so you're you're doing a lot of energy interfacing with people. You got to have your vehicle trip together and you're still transforming your whole way of being creative, dealing with your children, dealing with your life, getting it out there. 